guys, it's Dag, and I am back like one of those crusty kind of wounds that you get and it just, you know, itches and you got to put like ointment on it to keep it from like spreading everywhere and oh yeah, poison oak, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, I wanted to say hi. It is National Teacher Appreciation Day. Now, this one actually means something to me because my son, my oldest son, is a teacher. He's a middle school teacher. He is had gone to school and he came back to uh, his hometown where we live. And he is now teaching at the middle school uh, about a mile from our house. And uh, that is his chosen profession, and he absolutely loves it. At one point, he was like, I don't want to teach middle school kids. They're just like too all over the place, and they got too many issues and stuff. I'd rather teach uh, high school kids. And I guess he did some subbing in the uh, middle school as part of his educational uh, uh, part uh, for school, and he absolutely loved it. He liked uh, the way that the kids were involved. He liked the way that the kids were uh, responsive and stuff like that. And so there he is. So go love a teacher because we wouldn't be anywhere without them. And good Lord, everyone knows that they need more money than they get paid now. So there we go. Here we are, Chad Fist, my perfectly uh, haired uh, monk is here for Final Fantasy tonight. And hi, Gigi, by the way. I wanted to say hi. Thanks for uh, uh, being hyped about uh, uh, having some Final Fantasy on the screen tonight. Um, I finished Chad's um, run with the original A Realm Reborn last time we streamed him. And he got through all of the dungeons and all the end game content. And um, they were throwing a big party and all of the end credits were rolling and I cut the stream. Just like a Marvel movie, they ended up having spoilers at the very end. So after all the uh, credits rolled, they had this uh, earthquake and things happened and people were like going, there's another primal that has awakened. Oh no, we're all up shit creek again. Chad, you got to go back to work. So guess what? Chad is ready. He is now uh, getting into the uh, next part of A Realm uh, Reborn. This is the phase of the game that was between, um, I think it's Heavensworth it was the uh, second expan or the first expansion that came after A Realm Reborn. So um, he's in that in-between stage. And uh, I think they call it A Realm Awakened. And so there's a little bit of uh, leveling that is involved and kind of, you know, a little bit of a patch that they threw in there to kind of bridge the gap between the two. And so uh, we're going to start him up and get going with it. All right, Chad, you've got to go through the door and go talk to people. Everyone's like applauding still. Yes, okay. Let's get to work, folks. Enough of this. Alphanod's in here. That can't be a good sign. If he's hanging out, Minophilia, what have you got to say for yourself? All right, Alphanod takes off. Get out of here, punk. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. Of course, the roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern uh, observed only once before in history, five years ago to be precise. I should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. A great sacrifice uh, we have delivered, at great sacrifice, we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. No, I should hope not. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions. Yet our struggle continues, and we need to know no less, uh, we need you now no less than before. Uh, please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very start. I guess they wanted you to, like, of this very start. They wanted you to, like, hang out and not take off. Armor identification key. 
a thin rectangular piece of what appears to be Sermet. Placing it near your suit of Magitek armor will magically bring the machine to life. Unobtained, unregistered, I, okay. It's an armor identification. So this means I get a Magitek from now on? I'll take it. That's cool. I'll have to look and see if flying has been unlocked. Yes. You can now fly a mount in Lanosha, Thanalan, and Black Shroud, Corthius, Central Highlands, and Mordona. Those are all the areas I've already opened. So that's cool. To take flight, simply jump while mounted. Now, so I have to mount myself. That didn't come out right. All right, flying mounts. What does it say about flying mounts? You have gained the ability to take flight. Summon forth a flying mount and try jumping to take off. Well, not inside, but yes. Uh, flying consists of three basic maneuvers. You can advance by using the movement key, so, you know, forward, backward, etc. You can jump uh, by ascending the jump key, which is, um, jump key is your space bar, right? And then descending, draw or sheath weapon key. So if you draw a weapon, does that mean you're going to instantly crash? We'll have to try that one out. What happened to you, Dag? Well, I took Chad out and he like fell on his face. All right. I want to see what happened to that item. There it is. Armor identification. Can I use it? You can now summon the Magitek armor mount. Oh, how cool. All right, I've got an armor mount. Yes. And then I also have an orchestration roll and some money. Thanks for the gold. Ah, I'll take that. I'll have to go back and look because I don't remember getting that with my other character. All right, a recurring problem. Uh, a price, price of principle, let's do this one first. Uh, Menophilia appears to be lost in thought. Well, get with it, girl. Hmm, Chad, it pleases me to see you well. You were just talking to me. I guess she expected me to go out and play with my mount, huh? Do excuse me for interrupting. Chad, my lady, the gentleman from Ashgana Exports has just arrived. I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. You did well, Tatura, uh, Tataru. Uh, please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this morning. Thank you, my lady. I think he's going to be insistent, though, isn't he? I don't remember. Ever since we defeated Gaius Van Balzar and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Uh, paparazzi, right? <laughs> Where once we worked in secret with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more eager than the last to offer us complete support. A true embarrassment of riches. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Yeah, you don't get anything for free. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavor to engage us more subtly. Dress it how they will, the message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. Uh, the gentleman Tataru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain uh, supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Naturally, I refused him, as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Alas, the syndicate's overtures are not so easily rejected. Well, yeah. Was his name Mr. Soprano? <laughs> uh, when we formed the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this is true, and yet... And yet, if accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? I don't know. You go across that bridge. Alba Balsedin or Baldesian 
colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to. To, do, to what? Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you so. Oh, not a problem, right? Okay. Yet, my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Uh, might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. All right, so I got to go around and talk to people, probably. Quest accepted. Okay, what's the other quest? This is a main... Is that a main quest? Yes, it is. Menifeli has need of your talents for re-emerging primal problems. No reward? Oh, come on. Everybody's here. I know you have scarce had a chance to rest, but I'm afraid this is still work. There is still work to do. Stola, the Ultima weapon's destruction, twould seem, was served to embolden the beast man, who now seek to call down their gods once more. Even as we speak, the Amalja, the Ixal, and the Kobolds are making preparations for their respective summoning rites, and that is but the half of it. Much to our dismay, all three tribes were somehow able to procure vast quantities of crystals. Oh, my turn to say something. Ahem. Basically, this means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Far, far stronger. Their previous incarnations will seem as pale imitations. Uh-oh. The beast tribes, we believe, began hoarding crystals with a vengeance in the wake of the Ultima Weapon's maiden appearance. You will remember that as the time it devoured three primals in one sitting. The Grand Companies are aware of the potential primal outbreak. Alas, due to the losses they incurred to ensure the success of Operation Archon, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. After deliberation, the leaders concluded that they must needs turn to us once more to thee. The athletic wave, Arth Atheric wave that the arthritic wave? No, that's me. Uh, that were eh, that's an arthritic wave uh, that were observed in Mordana do not appear to bear a, a connection to any beast tribe. Yet more and more still remains uh, beyond our knowledge. We must be prepared for all possibilities. I am loath to send you into the midst of danger again so soon, but none have proven themselves more capable against the primals than you. Will you undertake this mission, Chad? I certainly will. You have my thanks. I truly do not know what we would do without you. Go ahead, Thancred. Uh, -huh. uh, with circumstances as they were, I haven't had the chance to properly express my gratitude. Um... For us being the shit out of you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, my life, Chad. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, a string of failures had left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger, and I might do right by my fellow scions. That I might do right. But instead, I caused you all no end of grief and suffering. I swear to you, it shan't happen again. Last famous words. Owing to everyone's ministrations, I have quite recovered now. I hope to return to my duties again soon. Everyone's like, okay. Thancred's return marks the beginning of a new chapter for the Scions. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press ever forward. Now then, back to the matter of the primals. With no fewer than three of the beings threatened to appear, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. We must take it one sure step at a time. Uringer uh, has the overview of the situation as it stands. Please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission. All right. Thank you, Menophilia. It's been a pleasure. Let's see, I gotta talk to these folks. They're all gonna be out here, I think. So I might as well get that one done first.
I don't have to talk. Well, that's an interesting quest, but I don't know. Let's see. Do I talk to... Nope. I think everyone else is in here. Let's see. Yeah, here's everybody else. Okay, let's talk to Estola. We call you our meeting with the Admiral shortly after the Lamonsons, uh, Lamonsons sent word of the summoning of Titan. They mayhap you also recall my words to our host. I said unto Merold that her people had broken their treaty with the Kobolds and that the Beastmen had justly responded, that we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she herself had invited. I spoke in short the truth. Yeah, but people don't want to hear the truth. And wherefore did I speak it? Because owing no allegiance to Limsa, I felt no compulsion to allow the Limensians to distort the facts to fit a narrative which justify their actions and absolve them of guilt. Sounds familiar. Upon this subject, Menphilia can expect a similar reply. Our many dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality, but the path she contemplates would see us relinquish it entirely. Okay, so Ishtola is not necessarily on board with this. Okay. Fortune begets power and power fortune, and that that we, and especially you, have power is beyond doubt. The question is what to do with it. You may be interested to know that there is a growing belief amongst the refugees that Alamigo uh, could be liberated if only the Scions could commit their strength to the cause. But theirs is but one of many causes. Uh, we stand at a crossroads, Chad. Each path is paved with good intentions, and where they lead to is far from clear. All right, so he is like non-committal. He thinks we ought to go after Alamigo. Uh, Palpamo. Uh, none can deny that we would benefit from more support, but it, if it comes at cost of our principles, neutrality is ever a delicate matter. I've lost count of the times I've had to explain to people that our allegiances need not necessarily lie in the same place as our headquarters. Mind you, if we are to sell our services for Gil, we might as well declare our fiality to Ulda more now and have done with it. I'm quite sure Ida would enjoy the bribes. <sighs> That's kind of tacky. Oh, you gonna let him say that? I've been receiving a lot of gifts lately, but Palpamo uh, keeps making me send them back. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be so bad, but some of them are really nice. I mean, very nicely, uh, nearly abandon your principles nice, you know? <laughs> All right, well, she's honest at least. Uh, let's see. And I need to talk to uh, Erringer. And such knowledge as I possess of the beast tribes and their primals is at uh, thy disposal. Whether man or beast men, we are in want to seek power when plunged into the black depths of despair. That uh, despair doth begin with the Al, Al Amalja, and who may have already summoned forth Ifrit. With our uh, comrade uh, Thancred now returned, thou wouldst do well to seek his counsel. I already talked to him but I guess I will. Now, that was the other quest. <laughs> Let's do this one. Uh, Tis a lot of powerful to attract the covetous as well as the needy. Thus doth prudence dictate that those with power proffer aid with one hand whilst the other resists even ever on their hilt. Oh God, would you talk English? Alas, we have not the luxury of time to decipher our petitioner's machinations. Nay, not while the beast tribes do labor unseen, defiant in defeat, to raise up their fallen primals once more. Doubt not that they shall return stronger and bolder both, nor that we shall be the ones to meet them. This sacred charge shall ever be ours. Tis but a pity we are now so few and our fortune so finite. Okay, and is this a new quest? Erringer looks at you beseechingly in your direction, fear in his eyes. What's the fear? Friend to the dawn, hear my plea. Tidings most ominous arrive from Gridania. A uh, primal waketh the shroud. Those who have borne the eldritch uh, spirit witness and returning, return to tell the tale. A vow that ne'er before have they seen it's like. 
The God's Quiver doth investigate as we speak, and meseems Bo uh, Bolord Lewin uh, would welcome a capable adventurer's helping hand. Pray hie thee to the seat of the first bow, bow and shine thy light upon the matter. Okay, so I got a new quest from him. That's kind of interesting. It's like, I got to talk to Thancred first. Thancred wants you to vanquish Ifrit and has information that will help you to arrange the account encounter. Confirmation is just arrived from the Immortal Flames. As uh, tis as Uringer said, I fear the Amalja have already summoned Ifrit. A confrontation with the Lord of the Inferno is inevitable. I would like nothing more than to lend you my blade, but the students of Baldesian uh, insisted that I refrain from taking to the field where it concerns primals. I know not the workings of it, but it would seem that recent events have left me especially susceptible to tempering. As much as I hate missing out on the fun, for everybody's sake, I must sit this one out. I instead will focus on gathering and analyzing data. Now the Immortal Flames have already conducted a preliminary investigation in the Ifrit. They may well have information that will be of use to you. Do pay a visit to the Hall of Flames and speak with Commander Swift. Uh, one last thing before you depart. Doubtless you remember Menophilia's words, but this is this Ifrit is a far cry from the prime you were first defeated. You will want to assemble your most dependable comrades for the mission. Be safe, my friend. All right, so what are the other two? You know, I'm going to not take those right now. Because you can always use extra quests for doing stuff. i got to talk to Alpha Nod. Hmm, the situation is not wholly unexpected. Which one? I'm confused already. <laughs> I too have given much thought to our organization's future. Oh, okay, the payment thing. Though it would seem I have reached a different conclusion. Mayhap uh, it is time I made my feelings known to the Ascendant. Uh, come along, Chad. Ascendant. Antiseptic. Something like that. Alphanod, Chad, is Optimus. You desired counsel, and so you shall have it, Menophilia. The scions of the Seventon must leave Ulda. We must do what? So long as we remain within Uldan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving our headquarters to Vesper Bay only delayed the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate have taken note. We will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. Surely you realize they are the reason Vesper Bay still lacks an Atherite? You know full well how beneficial one would be to our cause. Which is why it and other favors will be denied us unless we cooperate. If Ulda is no longer suitable, where would we you have us go? Experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is an, as important as the reality. Accordingly, we must keep each of the great nations at arm's length and plant our banner in a place where all agree to be beyond their borders. Mordana. Okay. Reverence told, to be precise, it lies within neutral territory and offers all the essential facilities that we require. And I can't see, so I'm scratching my eyes, so give me a second here. I love allergy season. By way of an additional benefit, it is also frequented by a veritable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. I am, of course, conscious of the fact that we have developed a certain bond with Ulda and her people over the years, but truly believe this to be the best course of action. As you yourself observe, we have invo invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concerted effort. Ulda, Ulda is our home, Alpha Nod. To cast aside everything we have built and start anew in that desolated wasteland would be beyond reckless. The decision is yours to make, Antecedent. 
I also only, I ask only that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to found the Scions of Seventh Dawn, and which moved you to found the Path of the Twelfth ere that. We aspire to be ideal, you and I, just as our, my grandfather did, to make us more than mere comrades in arms. We are much your family as... That will be all, Alphanod. I'm sure you have some familial uh, affairs of your own to attend to. Your concern is most generous, but no, I have left them in the hands of men better suited to the task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the Order, after all. Is that a dig? Is he, like, digging at her? Okay, let's see what rings we got. Uh, we got Dark Light Band Defending. It has 10 Strength, 10 Direct Hit. Um... Vitality is a plus 11, tenacity 14. This has 10 strength, 10 skill speed. So faster and stronger. This is 10 critical hit, 10 strength. And then, so do I want hit rate? Do I want skill speed? Or do I want critical hit? I think I want... I'm going to try the skill speed. We'll see if I guessed right. We'll see if I can actually use it. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's pull him over here so I can see him. Recommended gear. And guess what? No, the ring was not any good. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing. All right, I'll have to sell the ring. Whatever. Once again, Minifili appears to be lost in thought. Some more rings. Leave Ulda? Has it truly come to this? Maybe, just maybe. Hmm. Oh, Chad, pray attend to Alphanod. He is engaged in some business or other and requires your assistance. Pray be on your way. Alphanod waits upon you, and I have much to think about. Oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time. Okay. Why can't these guys just, like, talk to each other? <laughs> Instead of me having to do their... Hey, go talk to this person. He's over there. He's standing by the door. And he's right there. See? Standing by the door. <laughs> oh, alpha nod. You little shit. Confound it. She knows what must be done, and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. Hmm, I should explain. Menophilia's mother, well-adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the calamity. Uh, Phil Haman was her name, though you may know her better as the songstress of Ulda. She was a performer of singular talent and much beloved by the people of the Orzia, not to mention the certain uh, Shara... Char La Yen Minstrel. Okay. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adopted, adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what had happened, that her body was never found, only served to encourage speculation. Dun dun dun. Minifilia, too, struggled at first to accept the truth, but as Phil, um, Philhamon's absence stretched for months, from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Good Lord. Come on. You can talk. Until recently, at any rate, for whatever reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that Philhamon is alive and well. One of our informants, Father Ili, Iliud, Ili... <laughs> Oh, I need a drink, and it's got to be stronger than my water. <laughs> Iliad has sent word that a woman matching the songstress description has been seen of late at the seaside resort of Costa del Sol. If you would succeed in tracking her down, I have no doubt that any worries that now plague Menophilia's heart might be assuaged. 
I mean to set forth for not long Nosha at once. Let us reconvene there and inquire with Master Gegaruju as to the veracity of these rumors. Okay, so I've got two sets of quests going here. The main quest is speak with Garen. Well, no, yeah, that's the moving on part. And then I got this other quest, which is speak with Swift at the Hall of Flames. And then uh, Primal Fear, speak with Lewin at the seat of the first bow. And I don't know what this, harvest liver is from mud puppies. That's left over from something, I don't know what. Okay, whatever it is, we get to leave, finally. And I'll have to see if I can fly. All right, let's see. Mount Roulette. Yay! I am flying! Cool and groovy. I should be checking to see where I'm supposed to be going first. All right, where's the... Let's see, Costa del... Well, hey. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing, I need to, like, go find the uh, an Atherite stone anyway. It's on the other side of that thing over there. Up, up, and away. Where's the house, right? Okay, I didn't need an Athrite stone. Where am I going? I need to teleport to... Hall of Flames. Hall of... The Hall of Flames is added in. Thancred confirms Uringer's words that Ifrit has been summoned once more. Report to the Hall of Flames and speak with the Commander Swift to learn how you might arrange a meeting with the Lord of Inferno. Okay, but where is that back? Oh, it's in Uldah. Okay, so we're going to Uldah. I need to pick one storyline and just stick to it at this point, so... Ulda it is. Hall of Flames, that's upstairs, I think. It's fun seeing all these uh, all these quests pop up now. It's like, oh look, all these quests that I can do finally that I wasn't able to do before. All right, where? It says Western Thanalan. Oh, really? So where is, oh, there it is. Okay, where am I? All the flames. Duh. It says right there. Hi, Swift. I wonder if there's any relation. Do you know, do you know, have a, a relation with a young singer? Uh, Chad, we thank you for coming. The Flame General will be heartened to hear that you have answered the call. As we have already relayed to the Walking Sand, if it is returned, for the sake of peace in the region, we humbly request that you vanquish him. The primal is to be found in his domain, the Bowl of Embers. To get there, you must use the Beastmaster, Beastman Atherite found within the depths of Zaharak. Uh, the Amalja Stronghold. So I have, I've got to go to Zaha, Zaha Rock. Okay. The Amalja have constructed their Atherite from savage, salvaged Atherite shards. This being the case, you should be able to use it without problem. No doubt you already know this from the Yellow Science, Fellow Science, not yellow ones, this, all colors. But the present incarnation of the Ifrit is st far stronger than the last. Facing him, 
with any fewer than the seven of your stou uh, stoutest comrades would be ill-advised. Uh, that is all the intelligence we have to share. The rest is in your hands. Shall we pray for their victory and safe return? All right, so it sounds like this is a a larger group than what I'm used to. All right, where else do I need to go? Costa del Sol. Oh, see the first bow. Where's the first bow? First bow is over in the Black Shroud. So, gotta go there next, I guess. Yep, Gridania! Take me away! Alright, let's see if I can find it on the map. Sight to behold? No. Uh, it's probably an old Gridania, right? Nope, apparently it's a new Gridania. Where? Rodney Horizons. You want to be a carpenter. <laughs> Sight to behold. Like civilized. What, what's the name of this one? Primal Fear. It's not an old Gridania, so it must be out? No. Nope. Primal Fear is level 46, and it's in New Gridania. And... Oh, let me guess. All the way over here. <laughs> okay, Archer's Guild. Cool. So I'll go to the Archer's Guild. Actually, I'll go the other way. Maybe. No. I'll just do this. All right. Uh, Archer's... Uh, I don't have Archer's Guild? Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay, I gotta run. I thought I had everything in here. It's the one that's up there, right? Yeah, okay, so... Ah. Haruru Meho Mana. He is the man, the legend. Remind me to pick up the uh, Ethernet, Ethernet shard there. A tuning, yeah, I didn't have it. I guess I've never had a need to be in this side of things. Who do I need to talk to? Speak with Lewin. Lewin is in here. Where is Lewin? Lewin's outside? The one's not here. Oh, Lewin is in the back. In the back room. You hiding back here, Lewin? Appears good. God quiver bow. Is that Lewin? God's quiver bow. I. Okay. Proceed to the seat of the first bow. Ah. All right. That was kind of a roundabout way of doing things. Lewin. Hey, dude. Bro. What's up? Fist, I have heard much of your deeds in recent days. You come to lend your strength to the primal investigation. Yes, your aid is most welcome. Thank you. I have leveled up to what level? I don't know what level I am. What level am I? Level 52. Okay. That's cool. So, Lewin, talk to me. Bow Lord Lewin would have you ascertain the veracity of the ominous rumors circulating about Gridania of late. 
which ones are those? I shall proceed directly to the matter at hand. Though still unsubstantiated, ill rumors stir amongst the townspeople of late. Rumors of shadow-clad knight who rides in the shroud. Under normal circumstances, I would pay such idle ghost stories little heed. This time, however, we have reason to suspect, but we have not to gain a, by rushing to judgment. I would have you go to the streets fist, talk with the people, hear their words with your own ears. Okay, so I need to exit stage left. And go this way. Yep, go this way. Walk this way. How the hell do you get out of here? Can I get out, please? Oh, there we are. Tass and Lope. Gather information from residents of Gridania. Hi, are you one of those residents? Apparently you are. You have a duck foot. The ghost knight, I, I saw him, clad from head to toe in armor that seemed forged from shadow itself galloping through the shroud atop his hell's born steed. Mark my words, the trees themselves were quivering in the fear of that night. I've not slept a wink since I returned. Okay. So I see I've got three more folks I need to talk to. Hi, lady. Let's see if I can find it. So there's one, two... We're looking for duck feet, and there's a third. Okay, so we'll get this one next, since I'm closer to that one than the other two. Maybe. They're just as long a run. I can sprint. Why would I want to? Aiden. Hi, Aiden. Yes, I saw the Black Knight, after which I promptly fled for my dear life. Should you end up in my position, you'd be wise to do the same. I have pride. I have my pride, but I am not fool enough to cast my life away. Besides, one look was enough to know. This is the manifestation of pure evil. Were he to turn that massive sword against Gridania, all of our lances were, as one could not hope to stand in his way. Nice story. Alright, now we need to go down. Actually, back this way. Get my minion out. There we go. Come with me, minion. And here is Honorant, or Honorant. I saw him clear as day, or clear as night, you might say, with me own two eyes. Uh, well, I got four, but hey. More fearsome than the rider was his ghastly steed. I know not where ye've traveled, but I can assure you we've, ye've not seen more frightened a beast. Uh, one thing I can tell you, friend, there was no specter or shadow. Nay, he was as solid as you or me. Three down and one left. Oh, and I passed him. Let's back up here. Sitting at the table. Tata, Tata Sosa. Hello. Yeah. Don't sneak up on me like that, friend. Well, pff. are you playing cards or what? Forgive me. Ever since espying a glimpse of that ghastly horseman, my heart won't stop racing. I knew the elementals would punish us sooner or later for daring to disobey their will. This is surely a sign of sinister happenings to come. All right. And now I got to go back and talk to... Talk to Mr. Mr. Bow again. Oh, 
Oh, what's all this? He's just standing there. Welcome to Sundry Splendors, one-stop shop. Oh, all kinds of fun stuff, huh? Okay. Um, oh, let's look at... So I need 600 something. Glans Faust. Cool. All right, so this is a weapon, I gather. Can I see what it looks like? Are you going to pull it out? Guess not. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Careful, Chad. Don't do that. Um, okay, what's the other stuff? Ironworks gear. Oh, and this is all the armor. Got it. So what does the Magitek Samurai... Oh, the blade. Striking. Cross striking. Arms guard. Hose. Sword... Oh, boots. Got it. They have a chest. Yes, of course. Let's see what this looks like. Just out of curiosity. Right on. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to pass on this stuff for right now. I don't have enough... Enough of the type of uh, currency they want anyway. I don't have any of the currency that they want. <laughs> let's let's call a spade a spade, okay? <laughs> Ain't got it. Oh, now I can take the instant transport. That's right. I didn't have the uh, path before. And I need to go to Archer's Guild. Yes. So I'm still missing the Atherite. No. I'm, I'm at the Atherite Plaza, so yeah. At least now I know how to get there. Oh, excuse me. Yes, I need to get in to see the seat of the first bow. I'd like to see his face, not his seat, but hey, okay. A knight clad in shadowed uh, forged armor, mammoth sword, and hellsborn steed. It is clear now our worst forebodings have proven more unfortunately prescient. O Lord uh, Luan, the seek your counsel of others. I thought I already talked to people. He wants me to talk to some more people? Good Lord. All this is is to go talk to these people. A ghostly knight atop his baleful steed. It is as fear as I fear. The rumors bear a most inauspicious resemblance to the reference in an ancient scripture describing Odin, the dark divinity. It is my suspicion that the dark horseman of rumor is indeed Odin. And furthermore, that this malevolent um, presence is a primal. And yet, before the god's quiver takes action, I would seek the counsel of one versed in the holy writings. Make your make for Quarry Mill and seek out Brother O Apesi. <coughs> what a name! I would know what he knows, and be swift, Fist. If Odin has truly come to the shroud, time is not on our side. Okay. Out we go. So I'm a little worried that I have another um, storyline going here. It's like, what am I doing now? Can I go this way? Still can't go that way. Can I go that way? Still can't go that way. Oh, there it is. I never see the door. I always like, whoop. Where's the door? All right, where am I going? So I need to go to Quarry Mill. Eh. I'm not going to seek out the other two locations right now. Let's see, Quarry Mill. So, um, hmm. I know I have it. There we go. South Shroud. There's 
Oapesi. Hey, short stuff with the horns. Oof, you're kind of interesting looking. Oh, that's... I'm trying to see what what this Oapesi has on, on its back, and it's like not... I can't go around him. Odin, the dark uh, divinity, Bow Lord Lewin, is understandably distressed at his arrival. As one who reads the scriptures, I, however, have not entirely surprised. I am not entirely. Odin is, the ancient writings have it, rode forth into our world, wielding a dark blade of capable, capable of cleaving earth and the heavens. By his fell uh, blade did perish earth uh, herself and countless multitudes of her people. At long last, a great hero of Alag did arise to do battle with the Dark God. Odin was slain and his spirit uh, sealed with a forest spring. For years, this was thought to be a mere wives' tale, a ghost story told by mothers to frighten their young ones into in obedience. Uh, but recent archaeological studies at Alagan ruins have unearthed damning in, in evidence to the contrary, and now these rumors. The scriptures claim that the dark divinity slumbers in Earth's fount, uh, deep in the heart of the shroud where the power of a crystal confines him. I have ventured into the forest and seen the crystal with my own eyes, but this was many years ago and it is entirely within the realm of possibility that something has gone or terribly awry, and the fetters of crystal define the dark divinity long, no longer. I would send you to Earth's fount to investigate the matter, but be forewarned, your path will not be an easy one. Should your e any evil spirits stand in your way, this water of cleansing sh should avail you. And I got water. There it is, water of cleansing. All right, so I'm going where? Earth's gift, where am I now? Okay, so I just go down that area. And probably this is all like gonna have critters that are up in my up in my grill the entire way. Alright, how do you get out of here? This way? Is this the right way? Nope. Need to go the other way. But why am I running? Wait, I can take a flying mount! Oh, now that's cool. I like that. Oh, wow, that, that is wicked cool. All right. Am I going down? Yeah, I guess I'm going down. Huh? Fly no higher. Okay. Well, I gotta get off my mount now. And Earth's seal. Inspect Earth's seal by cleansing by use and use cleansing water to defeat evil spirits. Okay, so I'm going to inspect first. And then I'm gonna have a crap ton of stuff come and jump at me. Picked up the water spear. Okay. Come here. Stop it, you weed. So, did I? I don't think I did it correctly. Maybe I did. 
Maybe I didn't. Second wind. Let's try this again. Oh, I did. Okay, I got it. Yay! So now I can leave. Oh, my fat chocobo! He flies! That's too funny. Crystalline Gowl that held the Dark Divinity in check, were you able to ascertain what has become of it? Magical energy still remains in this stone, though its powers have grown dim. What more? Behold how the stone has been cleaved clear in twain. Uh, by Odin's fell blade, there can be no doubt. The, yes, there can be no doubt as to the identity of our unwelcome guest, and yet it is all more, most curious. If the Dark Divinity rides free, why does he tarry in the Shroud? Any road, you are to be commended for your bravery, adventurer. Simi is preparing a report on this very matter as we speak. I would be most grateful if you could share your f uh, findings with her as well. And she's off this direction someplace. Is that her? Maybe. No. Nope. It says she's here. Let's try this again. Port to Simi. Yeah. That would be her, I think, right? She's around here somewhere? Is she inside? Inside? No, she's not inside. She's not inside there, anyway. Is she inside here? You can't go inside. Am I missing something? Probably. Is she under the bridge? No. Nope. And these two dudes are still standing here. <laughs> they haven't done squats since I was here last. Is she up on top? Now that's a possibility I hadn't thought of. There she is. Now that you can fly, we're going to make you look everywhere. Okay. So it is indeed as we feared. The seal of Earth's found has been broken and the Dark Divinity rides again. I must draft a report immediately. Okay. <sighs> that, uh... Neither of those helped me at all, so I'll just take the gold, thanks. Simi would entrust you with the delivery. What are these? Savage Aim Materia 3. Critical hit. Direct hit. Determination. Skill speed and spell speed. Okay. And those stones you would... Oh, Materia. So you would add those to your armor. Got it. Your assistance in the investigation has proven an invaluable adventure. You have our thanks. Uh, with your aid, I have finally managed to complete my record. A thorough survey of all eyewitness reports, along with the most credible theories regarding the Dark Divinity's presence in the Shroud. I intend to deliver copies of the report to uh, Brother O. Ap Pessy and Bo Lord Lewin myself. The science, too, will no doubt be eager to learn of our findings. I would be most appreciative if you could deliver a copy to Erringer in my stead. My duties demand that I remain composed, but in all truth, I fear for the fate of our people. Should the time come that the Dark Divinity draws his blade against Gerdanya, uh, promise me that we can count on your aid. And now I go all the way back to Uringer, who's back in the, uh, the main drag. So where's my... 
There's my Vesper Bay. And I go back. Should have checked to see if uh, Uringer is. Nope, he's not in here. <laughs> Should have checked. He's in the side room. I mean, Feely is the only person in there. So back out the doors to the right, down the steps. Here he is in the back corner. Chad, I am most heartened by your safe return, by thy safe return. Wert thou able to cast light on the shadows that haunt the shroud? Here's a report. So it is true, having awakened from nigh eternal slumber, the dark divinity now rides free in the shroud. Whilst you were afield, I immerse myself in the scriptures. The more I scourge the words, scour the words, the more I realize that the drawings the writings drew heavily upon elegant historical chronicles. History is quite a fascinating beast, is it not? Uh, one nation's glory is another suffering. One nation's great hero, another one's abhorrent villain. I mean not to speak in platitudes, uh, but you are, only to say that there is never but a single side to any story, even a story that is presented as historical fact. To what end did the great hero of Alexiel Odin in a gaol of crystal? What impels the dark divinity to ride once again? Cast thine light on the shadows of history, friend, that we might be delivered from the darkness. Okay, what do I need? Direct hit, critical hit, determination, skill speed. All right, I'll take the skill speed again. The faster I hit shit, the better I think. You know, it's probably one of the other ones, but I'll take it. Because it's purple, and I like purple, so that... Okay. Um, so now what do I do? Is that the end of that? I got... Oh. Well, I've got the other three. The other two, I should say. All right. So before... Um, before I go any further, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back shortly. Hang in there. refreshing beverage it is tonight's episode is brought to you by spindrift <laughs> yes if i was getting royalties for that that'd be cool but i'm just drinking and i'm not getting royalties oh so we went from having an inch and a quarter of rain uh early or late last week uh to having uh 80 degree weather this week so it's like would you damn well make up your mind folks <sighs> all right um i guess we're gonna go do those other quests huh because we got to costa del sol and it's not letting me go there i guess i'm going this way I came out of this. Oh, yes. Dag your loss like usual. Turn right. Where am I supposed... Okay. Costa del Sol. Let's go there first. 
And uh, that's the quest line about Menophilia's mom, I think. So we'll go there. Close to Del Sol. Where is it? There it is. Okay, Gigaruju, the Sultan of Swat. <laughs> oh, sweet siren of the sands, my Mikito, uh, my Mi Mik, uh, Muse, why have you forsaken me? Titan's Bane, I mean, Chad, what brings you to my humble resort? Philemon, you mean to tell me the goddess made flesh who dealt, dwelt among us until so very recently was the the songstress of Ulda? He gads, man. If I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never, never let her leave. Oh, for shame. I think that she now plies her trade for the riffraff off of the west, to the west, or whatever she said she was going. It's a tragedy, I say, a tragedy. Yeah, he looks, uh, he looks trustworthy. West, is it? Thank you, Mr. Gigaru. Uh, your information will serve us well. Okay, that was Alpha not that said that. Uh, that said, there are a number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have no some knowledge to spare. I would be most appreciative if you could travel to the wine port and do the same. All right, so I already talked to him. And now they want me to go to wine port, so I'm going to... Go over to wine port. So having a flying mount definitely opens up the game. I mean, you were running on ground before, and now you're up here, and you're able to see a whole lot more than you were before. So I think that's, I think it's definitely a benefit to get to level 50 and start flying. All right, let's see. Gather information in wine port. And we're looking for ducks again. Duck feet. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he's the wine steward, I think. Well, if it isn't Chad, the savior of wine port, to what do we owe the pleasure? Getting that good wine? Ah, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold and give the woman her due, but her perfume was so ghastly. I had no choice but to eject her from the premises, interfering with tastings, you understand. If she were your quarry, why not consult your blind associate? His olfactory uh, perception is without peer. Given that I could smell the woman from a mile away, I dare say he could smell her from ten. Alright, so my buddy outside I gotta go talk to. And where is he now? Is he up on the hill? Yep, there he is. Hiding out in the in the vines. Nope, that's not him. Hey, you want to know if I've seen uh, a Mick Mick Toe lass by the name of Philman? I wish I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. All right, so that was the end of that. I've got another one to talk to. Shamani Lamani. There he is. Yeah, he's the blind guy. Okay. Hi, Shamani. 
Sniff Sniff, I see you have had many great adventures since last we spoke, Chad. You must share them with me sometime. But for the time being, go put on some deodorant, right? <laughs> right guard. Uh, the girl from the little while ago, one does not forget that perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south into Raincatcher Gully and then head east after the crossing of the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent you see, and if you make haste, you may uh, yet find her there. All right, so I'm off running this way. Walk this way, talk this way. where I need to be? I don't know. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, it's in this area. Okay. I gotta kill these pelicans? They don't look like pelicans, but I guess whatever. Oh, there she is over there. Got it. I wonder if I can bring my chocobo out. Nope, not at the moment. Okay. I don't need to kill these guys for what the heck. They're in the way. And Chad hasn't killed anything in a couple of minutes. There she is. Oh! Boo boo. Hey, dude. Gotta kick him in the butt. And she's still picking flowers. <laughs> I will not be deterred from picking my flowers. I'm in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the goo boo's ire until it was too late. Their oils can be used to make a perfume, you see, and I... Finman, I'm... I... I don't... Who are you? Whom do you serve? It appears you've already found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. The songstress of Ulda, I presume, Menophilia, or should I say Asilia, is looking for you. Asilia? You are the very picture of health, milady, yet the world thinks you dead. I can only conclude that this was by design. The question is, why? Not everyone who endeavors to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You will be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Menophilia when the time is right. Oh well, that does please me more than you know, but tell me, sojourns in the forest of La no uh, La Nocha aside, when exactly will the time be right? When I deem it so, do you imagine traveling all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity, or would you interrogate me further? My apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now that we all have that which we may, we came for, might we continue this conversation in a safer locale? Wineport, say? And I guess she was in agreement with that. So we're all going back to Wineport.
This is not at all how I envisioned it. Well, sorry, dude. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Menophilia's heart when she is reunited with her mother after all these years. All right, so I've got Dark Light Band of Aiming, which is 10 Dexterity and 10 Hit, 11 Vitality. I've got Vitality, Spell Speed, plus Mind I don't need. I could use Intelligence, but that's a different story. Um, spell Speed? Well, I think we're going to do Critical Hit. Let's see how that works. Let's see if any of these have actually been of use. Nope, none of them. All the stuff I have is better. All right, whatever. Okay, Philemon. Uh, Philemon has uh, made her peace and is ready to reunite with her adopted daughter. Cool. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay? Yes. I have kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off on the next ferry. I can fashion. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Walking Sands. Waking Sands. And it teleported me there, so I didn't have to waste any time. That's. Thank you for not for doing that. Yeah. Okay. And it seems you have a guest. She looks shocked. It's heart rendering. <gasps> I haven't seen her in like this is in years, Chad. Yes, you can tell his heart is warmed. I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead, but what kept you away for so long? The Imperials came for me, as I always knew they would, and so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, lest their pursuit of me endanger you and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue it you did, achieving things I could not have imagined possible. I followed every uh, your every success and celebrated in secret. I'm so proud of you, Asilia. I learned from the best. I have a gift for you. Celsesia perfume you remembered. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If I ever lost sight of you, I could find you again just by following my nose. I did not think it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. I did. <laughs> it was no trouble to me, my darling. I fear I cannot say the same for Chad. However, I could not have made it without him. Thank you, Chad. Thank you both. Of course. There's something else. This, this is a cat's eye I found. All these years you kept it? Ew. My father was a member of the Alamegan resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Ulda. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lehman, Lehman 
who took care of me then. She raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm, I am no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know about you and your mother both. One of our first lessons, one of our first lessons to me concerning concerned mining, and I was a very dedicated student. The cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. So I, I give it to Lehman as a gift. She said it was beautiful, but there I am at a loss. Why are you returning this to me? Is something amiss? No, Celia, nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come and how much further you may still, must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I could ever have hoped. You have succeeded where I failed and made me so proud that that words fail me. But even as I marvel at the woman you've become and at all the many things that you've done, I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do and of what it may entail. Asilia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Ulda. Le a layman. Mamin, you built it once, Asilia. You can build it again. This time, we'll do it together. Truly? Alpha Nod, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish new headquarters in Reverence Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldazian. Gar uh, preparations begin at once. And away we go. All right, so we got a choker offending. It's defense. Oh, what else? Direct hit plus 10. Skill speed 14. Direct hit 10. Tenacity 14. What's this one? Critical hit 10. I doubt if it, well, plus one, who knows. Let's see if that was any use. Yes, it was. Cool. And that put me up to what? Level 52 gear? Okay. No, that's me. I'm level 52. But what's my gear level? Glad it said. Doesn't it say someplace? Oh, there we go. No. I think I'm okay at the moment. All right. I'm not going to squirrel and get off. Oh, another? Uh, Mayfield, I would share with you the latest news on the Scion's imminent relocation. Cutscene. It is all well and good that we have found ourselves a new home in Reverence Toll, but there is so much to be done in so little time. Our first step will be to secure the cooperation of the Adventurers Guild representatives there. Were it not for the guild's considerable efforts, the original camp reverence toll would have never been established, much less its heavy, more heavily fortified successor. However, with constitution still ongoing, construction still ongoing, and resources in short supply, it seems certain that the guild will require something in return for their support, sympathetic to our cause though they may be. 
Whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need them more than they need us. Without their assistance, such essential tasks as securing new facilities, cultivating relationships with local merchants, and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, if not impossible. You need not concern yourself with such matters, antecedent. Here comes off a nod. Really, Alpha Nod, if I need concern myself with anything, it surely matters such as these. Indirectly, perhaps, I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter, namely, to whom the resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am, nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventures Guild of Reverence Told? And there they are. Uh, it is an honor antecedent upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alphanod. We thought it best to begin talks at the earliest available opportunity. Know that my associate at Reverence Toll hold the scions of Seventh Dawn in the highest regard. We should be honored to welcome your organization. There are, of course, certain provisions which must needs be negotiated. If it pleases you, I would do so. It does. So here we go. Sir, unless I am much mistaken, you are the one known as Chad, are you not? May I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Slathborn spoke of you in the most glowing terms, a steal an imperial to steal an imperial reaper and then use it to infiltrate Garlean Castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate and newer fewer still survive. And uh, you shall always be welcome at Reverence Toll. Uh, we hope you will favor us with your presence again ere long. And away they go. Well, well, it would seem your reputation precedes you, Chad. Mayhap I should dispatch you to Reverence Toll with all haste, at first intended. But before that, I dare say you have earned yourself a rest. After all, you have traveled so far, and there is already so much you have done for us and for me. We will speak again anon. Till then, take care. Yeah, I gotta go kill some primals first. <laughs> Take care of that other shit I told you to do first, okay? I'm reading the New York Times. Ah, Chad, were you able to get some rest? I would ask you to come with me to the solar. Alpha Nod has just returned and it would seem there is something he would share with us. Well, that was short-lived. You're here, good. I came, I come bearing news. The negotiations are concluded and our friends at the Adventures Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Reverence Toll. The Science of the Seven Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona. The Rising Stones. It's not the Rolling Stones, huh? Ah, uh, bittersweet victory. Uh, if, to, if truth be told, I cannot deny that I had to come forward to Tataru's tales of many guests and their many, many demands. From the waking sands of the Rising Stones, passably poetic. That wasn't your doing, was it? What? Who, me? <laughs> I, too, have news to share. In the expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the Alliance leaders of our plan, and they have each pledged their full support, General Raban included. 
Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Are you sure this is wise antecedent? If anything, it is mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eorzea. Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, that all may know what the signs of the Seventh Dawn stand for. Everyone's jazzed. Well, obviously, risks apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. And people have a right to know who saved them. It is our hope that this uh, gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. I will re reveal to them the true extent of our power. Yes, but in so doing, I would show them that it is power accountable to no one and one at once to all. And what of us? We have felled primals and faced down the empire. To you, my fellow scions, I would say this. Prepare for the challenges which lie ahead, for they will be great indeed. Great. I say yet no greater than us, and we will rise to them as we have time and again united as one. Yeah, and everyone's jazzed. Hmm, there must be some way I can. Wait, that area is said to be rich in minerals. Maybe I should ask fin, uh, film men to teach me the basics of mining too. Okay, main storyline. Do you ever wonder how he does it, Alpha Nod, I mean? It was almost predictable that he would appear, should appear with an emissary of the Adventurers Guild mere moments after I had expressed the need to forge ties between our organizations. Truly a sense of timing rivals even our own. Setting such mysteries aside for the present, I have a task for you. I would like you to deliver these documents to Slathborn. There uh, concern our forthcoming move. Do take care on the road. Represent us well, Chad. Okay, so we've got deliver the documents to Reverence Toll. We have uh, attuned to the Atherite uh, at Zarak and harvest livers from Mud. Well, that's an old one, so I guess I could do that one. I don't know where that one gets delivered, though. I think I picked it up somewhere. Who knows where? All right, so where is this? I need to check. Southern Thanalan. So am I little Alamigo? Okay, that's the closest. Forgotten Springs. Uh, gold saucer. Yeah, okay. Little well, Alamigo, I guess we're going to go there. Here I am standing in the middle of the, uh, the water. How do I get the hell out of here? Well, I can fly, right? Duh. Okay. I'm going to do just that. Your mount can fly no higher. Well, I guess I got to go through. There's no through to go through. Oh, 
Hello. Why can't I go? Am I supposed to be down below? Uh, possibly. Nope. I just took a wrong turn. Oh! Well, I can't go there. I have to go... Which way? Ah! Okay, we're gonna go back. This way? This bridge. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Regret getting involved in this. care of that guy but I didn't see a wave or anything it's like fine whatever more fate we're gonna go through these guys this time Wow, they didn't make it very easy at all. Gotta make sure I'm still headed in the right direction. Yes, just a little bit further. There's the ass, right? I can't imagine what that would be like. Well, yeah, I can. That'd be a hell of a journey to go through. Okay, so now I have a new regular duty. Well, the bowel? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> the bowl of embers. Okay, so I've got the bowl of embers. Uh, is that the one that I need to do now? Deliver the documents. Yeah, I guess so. Well, actually, I don't even know if I have to do that. Can I do this? I have to do it in hard mode, level 50. Okay. All right, well... We will do that, so the, this bowl of embers is what I've got to do. That's cool. All right, so where do I go now? Reverence Toll? Do I have Reverence Toll? I don't know. Let's see where. Reverence Toll. Yeah, I only had 15 minutes to do that uh, quest, so I wasn't going to, like, try to get it done. Slathborn. Here's some documents for you. I was told to expect a scion, but I didn't expect it to be you. It was... It has been far too long, Chad. Uh, you have something for me yet? Hand over some documents. 
Let's see now. Yes, everything appears to be in order. You'll be staying with us for a while, yes? Would that be... that? Would that we had a dozen more like you? Since we don't, though, we'll just give you the work of a dozen men. <laughs> I jest, I jest. Oh, maybe not. Uh, did any of these have a plus? No, they didn't. So I don't think any of these are going to be any better. Let's see. Dexterity and Determination Vitality. Uh, vitality, Spell Speed. I don't need Spell Speed. Uh, spell... Uh, probably the first one, huh? Okay, let's see if it was any good. Nope. Not any better than what I've got. That's cool. It's possibly a primal. Slapborn would show you around the Scions, soon to be home in Reverence Toll. And I can get... What's a buffalo calf? Milk fed until tender and juicy, not that anyone would ever think of eating it. Oh, I get a little pet. That's cool. And then I can get a bracelet. Um, let's see, strength plus direct hit. Critical hit, probably the second one, huh? What's the last one? Strength and critical hit. Ooh, 14. Yeah, the last one, the red one. I see a theme here. Probably red is what I'm going after. Back to do the work of a dozen men, I see. Ha, but I jest. Even I can appreciate that an important man such as yourself has little time for, men, for menial tasks. But since you're here, may have you be keen on having a look around the Scion's new home. See that impressive structure over there? That's the place. And it was originally built to house a branch of the guild, you see. As such, it comes complete with a tavern where adventurers can rest from the road. Fill their barrel... Fill their bellies with good food and drink and their ears with tales of fortunes to be had about this about the realm it may get a bit raucous at times but i imagine it'll be as good a place as any to recruit capable men and women to your cause come with me i'll show you around is that you chad i am quite sorry to interrupt but i have most urgent news we received grim tidings from Gridania, and it would appear our aid is required at once. I must ask you to report back to the Walking Sands with all due haste. Is everything all right? Uh, quite all right, friend? And I tell him I have to go. He's like, okay. I can't say I'm privy to the details, but it would appear this is no time for a leisurely tour. But no worries. You can rest assured that I'll see you to all necessary arrangements. Pray return any time after you've seen to your more pressing matters. And what are my pressing matters? Yeah. Nice. That's a fun, fun one. Oh, Waking Sands. That's right. I can just port there. Not with that. I can do it with one. Where is it? There we go. up a messenger from the twin adder came to the walking sands waking sands while you were in Mon mordona yeah i wasn't privy to this conversation with the antecedent but i did see the look on her face after he took his leave something is definitely amiss could it be that the exile have some uh, summoned garuda again or mayhap imperial forces that have been sighted within the shroud well, whatever it may be, I'm absolutely certain it's nothing you can't handle. Now, go and ask the antecedent if there's anything you can do. Go talk to Menophilia.
Cutscene. I knew this day would come, yet I prayed it would not come so soon. We have reason to believe that another primal, or an entity resembling one, has been summoned in Gridania. Thine arrival is customarily timely, Chad. The etheric waves leave little room for doubt. Thy talents will be needed ere long. If there be truth in my suspicions, tis a familiar foe we face, though one quite unlike the Lady of the Vortex. We dare not draw conclusions about without evidence, but as Erringer says, the readings bear a strong resemblance to ones observed more than five years ago. Sigh, though I had hoped the Mogul's guard beyond such follies. It suffice it to say this disturbance warrants a full investigation. Thy presence hath been requested by Commander Helix. He awaiteth thee at the Adder's Nest. Pray hasten to Gradania, Chad. Ida and Papalmo Papal will rendezvous with you there. May you walk in the light of the crystal. And exit. I gotta go to Gridania, but yeah. Teleport here, teleport there. Teleport somewhere else. Money dump. Okay, and this is in the main building over here, I think. Pleasure to see you as always, Private Fist. Thank you for coming so swiftly. I could think of no one more qualified to... Ah, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Allow me to explain. And let's see, I said red, huh? Yeah. Let's see if that actually shows up. I think this gear is like... This gear is less than what I grabbed off of the marketplace. No, well, some of it isn't. That one is, definitely. All right. Uh, here we go again. Bunch of stuff I can't use. Nothing. Not long ago, the Mughal Kuplo Kop of visited the Adder's Nest to request an audience with the Elder Seed Seer. He spoke of an imminent threat to all Mughal kind one which would imperil the entire Twelves would if left unchecked. He proved an able ambassador to the Sylphs, and we would have you reprise the role in our dealings with the Mughals. Uh, the rest you should hear with Kupla Kopp himself. He awaits you with the Elder Seer in the Lotus Stand, at the Lotus Stand. All right, so I'm off to the Lotus Stand. I'm off to see the Lotus. The Wonderful Lotus of Oz. Or something like that. Uh, oh, wait a second. I should be able to go over there. And it is... There. And what is there? It's in the adjoining area. Duh. Hail to the King, Conjurer's Guild. Do I have the Conjurer's Guild? Yes, I do. Take me there. 
Silent Conjurer. -er. The other scions have already arrived, sir. May I show you in? Yes, please. Chad takes the path, knowing he doesn't want to get wet. Please, you have to stop them, but you mustn't kill them. They're not bad moogles, Koopo. They're just misguided. A gentle, no, firm thrashing is in order, yes, but no. Calm yourself, Koopo, cop. Can you not see that he hasn't the faintest idea what you're talking about? Be quiet this instant. Pray forgive his this witless outburst, sister. Most grateful am I that you have come, Chad, and upon such short notice, truly Gridania could not wish for a more stal stalwart uh, ally. But you are doubtless eager to know wherefore we summoned you. Our friend Kupo Kop has brought uh, to us news of most unsettling development. It was seen that good King Mughal Mog the Twelfth uh, has returned to Yorzia. A curious thing to hear, I know, truth to tell. I myself cannot say for sure if he is a genuine figure from history or some manifestation of Mughal mythology. Kupo here would have me believe the former. Once upon a time, we Mughals served the gods in the heavens. It was quite nice up there, unspeakably beautiful, unimaginably spacious, and with a limitless uh, supply, uh, endless supply of wine, Kupo. Uh, and in spite of this, we possibly, or possibly because of the last part, the gods eventually became discontented and started squabbling, which made life jolly difficult for the poor Mughals. Too much wine. So good Mughal, good King Mughal Mog the Twelfth, may his glorious name live forever, decreed that the time had come to leave Kupo. Uh, the realm of man would suffice, he said, so all Mughals should live there instead. Unfortunately, the two realms are so far apart that we couldn't safely fly down, but good Mughal Mog the Twelfth, uh, may his miraculous foresight ever be praised, knew exactly what to do, Kupo. He had a rope, you see, the longest one ever woven. This he nobly held by his subjects, climbing, climbed all the way down to the world below. That is how we Mughals came to this land, Kupo. All of us, except good King Mughal Mog the Twelfth, may his courageous sacrifice never be forgotten. He alone would remain in the heavens so that Mughal kind might at last know peace. Except that he has not remained in the heavens, from what I understand, that being your reason for contact, contacting us, yes? I'll bet he tried the rope to uh, tie the rope to something. Good thinking. Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Eorzea? The problem, Ida, lies in the fact that he was summoned. It is our belief that good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth is a myth made manifest via means akin to those employed by the beast tribes in summoning of their gods. Wait, you're saying a handful of Mughals with a boatload of crystals wished really, really hard and he sort of just appeared? Would that even work? What I cannot fathom is why they would even try. With Garuda humbled and Ultima weapon destroyed, a new threat could have prompted them to take so drastic a measure. Might that not in itself be the answer? Twice in the last half decade, Oryorze has been brought on to the most uh, very brink of destruction, only to be spared at the last by the heroics of a chosen few. To you who braved those tempests and survived by means of their own strength, this latest period of peace will doubtless uh, seem a welcome respite. But to those who had not the power to defend themselves and who were spared only by another's grace, this is merely the calm before the storm. I think the Mughal's guard are afraid. Afraid of what tomorrow will bring. And that thing may, things may not be end well so well as they did yesterday. That fear has driven them to call upon a greater power, one that belief uh, can, they believe can be relied upon to protect their loved ones and their homes can uh, come what may. 
Assure you, the Mongols' guard only want to protect the forest from outsiders, but ever since the return of good king Mughal Mog the Twelfth, may his boundless grace fill our hearts with love, they have started to get a little carried away. Kupo, verging on a lot, in fact. Like the sylphs who summon uh, Ramu, you mean? Hmm, we cannot discount the possibility that this entity is influencing the Mughals in a manner similar to that of a primal. We share the same concerns. Whoever or whatever the king may be, it is our belief that he poses a threat not only to Mughal kind, but to Gridania as a whole. Thus do we beseech you, Chad, confront good king Mughal uh, Mog, Mughal Mog the Twelfth and drive him from our midst. Okay. Thumbs up. Everyone's humbly. I do thank so. I do thank you. Kan e si sena. Kan e sena. The sanctuary of the Mughal's guard and their siege lords is, con is concealed by magical wards. Brother e Sumi Yan of the Conjurer's Guild will doubtless be able to offer insight on how they might be dispelled. Pray seek his counsel ere you proceed any further. Okay. And so where is he now listed? He's in Old Gridania. Is he? Oh, he's way over here. Okay, Conjurer's Guild. Can I not? I don't have the Conjurer's Guild, do I? Okay, can I go to the outfit? Yeah, I should be able to. Oh, come on. Go to this map. Okay, where's where's the stone? There's a stone around here somewhere. I know that. Exit. You gotta click click on the exit. You can, one can near, not merely leave, one must click. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get to where I need to be. Conjurer's Guild. No, I don't have. Ah. All right. Wait. Oh, that was a Conjurer's Guild. So have I not touched it? Oh, I can't use it because I. Yeah. I can't use it because that's where I am. Duh. All right, we just go this way. You would think that I would have this figured out by now, but apparently not. Hi, Biddy. Sumi Yan Guildmaster. Welcome, Chad. Welcome. That you should be the one to face good King Mogul Mug the Twelfth is of great comfort to me and to the Elementals both. Yes, I am sure you know the Mughals are not by their nature a warlike race, yet should the king be suffered to uh, remain, it is like that his influence will bring about a change in them. Uh, thus does it behoove us to defeat him quickly before any lasting damage is done. Uh, make whatever preparations you deem necessary and inform me when you are ready to seek the king. And now I can pick up the, uh, the ring. Let's see, critical hit, direct hit rating plus 14. Yeah, I think that was what we want. I wanted. Red. I still don't think it's going to give me anything good, though. My rings are still better. My rings are better than your rings. Okay. Um, Brother Isumi would unfold to you the secrets of good King, Ol King Mogul Mug the Twelfth's magical defenses. The wards bearing access to the King's Sanctuary can only be nullified through the use of enchanted keystones, the self-same method of, uh, employed five years ago when first the King was summoned to Eorzea. It was with great regret that we were forced to sanction the slaying of the guardians who then held the keystones, for none were in their, our possession at the time. By the grace of the elementals, however, we have been spared that burden on this occasion. 
Cooper Cop uh, confided in me that he had been entrusted with the set of keystones by the Mogul's Guard themselves. Yet wishing not to betray their confidence, he begged me to find some other means to gain entry to this king's sanctum. Alas, I have been unable to do so, dare not labor any longer, for fear that Mughal might succumb to the corrupting influence of their liege lord. We must needs our Kupo Kop keystones, Chad. Pray go to him and beg his assistance. He awaits you at West Shore Pier. Impress upon him our great need, and I am certain he will yield. All right. Uh, so I need to talk to Kupo Kop. Is this my exit? Yes. Here. Just to go to the right place. Looking for Kupo. Oh, he's way over there. Okay, so by the Lancers Guild. Alright, where's the stone? Now I can go there. So, how will you do it, Kupo? Oh, he told you about that. Uh, well, if there truly is no other way, I'll do it, Kupo. Take the ferry to Sweet Bloom Pier. I'll go on. I'll go on ahead. And I better take the ferry, or I'm going to forget where I'm supposed to be. I would be heading across the lake in the East Shroud. Yes, I know that. Yes. And here is Kupo in all his glory. All right. Uh, it is a good place for me to stop, particularly since it's after witching hour for me and I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't see you between now and the next time I see you, have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a wonderful evening. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Love you all. See you soon. Bye now.